Welcome to this series of bite-sized training videos from Wellington. In this video, we'll be talking about assigning work resources in Microsoft Project, specifically focusing on generic versus named resources. Once you have built your work breakdown structure in Microsoft Project, you're ready to start assigning resources. Usually, project managers will start off by assigning what we call generic resources to tasks in their schedule. Generic resources are roles. They are not real people, for example, project manager, business analyst, or tester. They are used in the earlier stages of planning to capture high level demand or as a placeholder until the resource request has been approved by the relevant resource manager. It's usually only after approval that a named individual can be assigned to the task. To start assigning resources, we first need to build our project team. To do this, go to the drop down under the Gantt chart button and select the resource sheet. From here, go to the resource tab and click on add resources and then build team from enterprise. Make sure that you always select resources from the enterprise resource pool. The left hand side shows a list of all the resources available within the enterprise resource pool. The right hand side will show me who has been added to the project team. As you can see, no one currently. To reduce the list on the left down to just the generic resources, I'm going to add a filter. To do this, go to the customized filter option, click on the plus symbol, and then under the field name, we want generic. Under test, we want equals. And under values, I'm going to select yes. I'm now going to save this filter for future use. Once you're done, click OK and then apply. We can see that our resources have been filtered to just show the generics. I'm going to highlight them, click add, and these resources will be added to my project team and available for me to start assigning to tasks. Click OK, and we can see that they're listed now in the resource sheet. One thing to be aware of is that the generic resources are set to zero capacity. It's recommended that when organisations are using a combination of both generic resources and named individuals, that they set their generic resources to 0% capacity. This is because generic resources do not represent capacity. Only real people can satisfy demand. So setting them to 0% avoids capacity misrepresentation. So I'm now going to return to the Gantt chart. So click on the task ribbon and then click on the Gantt chart view. I can assign resources to a task in a number of ways in project. The most common option is to use the resource name column, whereby here I will see a drop down of all the available resources in my team and I simply select the resource I need. Another common option is to use the details form located on the task ribbon. Here I need to select the task first and then in the form I can choose a resource from the drop down. I'm going to choose Business Analyst, as well as additional details such as the percentage assignment and or the work hours. In this view, I can also change the task type from fixed duration to fixed units or fixed work. There'll be more on this in a separate video. I can change the task to be effort driven. I also have the option to add a constraint. Once happy with the assignment, I need to click OK. To close the form, just click on the details button in the task ribbon. So that's how to assign a generic resource. Although as a project manager, once I get into detailed planning, I will probably want to replace this placeholder with a real person. Often name resources will be allocated by a team or resource manager. However, as the PM, if I want to find out not only which resources fulfill the role of a business analyst, but of those who has availability to work on my project, I can do this using the built-in features of Microsoft Project. To do this, go to the Resource tab and click on Add Resources, Build Team from Enterprise. First, I need to select the generic resource I want to replace. I then need to click on Match, and this will generate a list of all the resources within the enterprise that fulfill the role of Business Analyst. To check who has availability to complete the work, I need to click on the Show Resource Availability box. This is looking for availability between the project start and finish dates, 
but I also have the option to narrow this to a particular date range. Click apply and you will see each resource's available hours listed. I can then compare this with the demand for my generic resource and once I've identified someone who is available to do the work, I then click replace and then click OK. Returning to the Gantt chart, we can see that the generic business analyst has now been replaced with our named individual. So that concludes how to assign generic and named resources in Microsoft Project. In the next video, I will be demonstrating how a team member can update progress against tasks assigned to them.